welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at gram formula mass. Formula mass is used to calculate the mass of substances that are needed for reactions. You can find the relative atomic mass for each element on page 7 of your data book. They're listed alphabetically. These are used to help us calculate the formula mass for compounds from their formulae. Let's look at a simple example. So here we have NaCl. So what we do is we look up the mass of each of the elements in turn. So here we have one chlorine and chlorine has a mass of 35.5. Sodium, again we've only got one, and it has a mass of 23.0. We then take these two numbers and we add them up. So overall, sodium chloride has a mass of 58.5. Here's a second example. This time we have two oxygen. So we're going to do two times the mass of oxygen, which is 16, to give us 32. And then one times the mass of carbon, which is 12, to give us 12. We then add these two together to give us 44 the mass of carbon dioxide. Use page 7 of your data book to find the formula mass for each of these compounds. So the first one we're looking at is water. So we have one oxygen, the mass of 16, and two hydrogens, each with a mass of 1. We then add those together to get 18. So here we have CH4, so we have four hydrogens, each with a mass of one, and then one carbon with a mass of 12. We add them together to get 16. So NH3, three hydrogens, each with a mass of one. one nitrogen which has a mass of 14, add them together and we get 17. Aluminium oxide, we have three oxygens each with a mass of 16, so that is a total of 48. And then two aluminiums each with a mass of 27, so that's a total of 54. If we add these together we get a mass of 102. So we have iron sulphide. Okay, so we have three sulfurs, each have a mass of 32. So that's 96. And then we have two irons, each iron has a mass of 56. So that's 112. Then we add these together to get 208. So here we have three different elements. So our first element is hydrogen. We have one, the mass of one. We have oxygen, one with a mass of 16. And lithium, one with a mass of seven. When we add them all together, we get a mass of 24. In our final example, we have three elements again. So we have three times 16 for oxygen. We have one times 12 for carbon. And one times 40 for calcium, giving us a total of 100 for calcium carbonate. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem and Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos and flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now.